And my first challenge for you is to turn off the noise, right? And I talk about this a lot. If you go on my YouTube page, you see the, 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 turn, off the, the turn off the noise videos. Um, because I just think it's so important that we have that, that, that for you to turn off the noise. And when I'm talking about the noise, I'm talking about the chitty chatter, the people talking around you, the things happening around you, social media. Turn it off. And I don't mean, I do not mean don't go on social media. I do not mean don't talk to your friends. I don't mean any of that. But what I mean is that you have, we, we, we have to turn off the noise around us and focus on what we're doing. We can still have friends and we can still have family and we can still do all those things. And that's amazing. But we have to turn off the noise because the, the, the things that people are saying outside of you have nothing to do with you. Everybody else's experience has nothing to do with your experience. And too often we let the noise from outside of us let us think that we can't do that specific thing. Oh, because nobody in my family was ever a speaker, so I can't be a speaker. Ken dijo, who said? Like, and, and so, and, and, and so we, we tend to let that noise, and it starts from a young age, and so it's tough, right? Because from a young age, that noise is coming in our ear, the things that we can't do. You can't do this, you can't do that, you shouldn't buy a house. You know, you guys, you guys are real estate agents. The people that, 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 that you guys are meeting, your clients, who they can't buy a house because they were kind of like bred to think or believe that they shouldn't buy a house, that buying a house is bad. Do not buy a house, right? And it's not even their own ideas. It's just their, their own insecurities and, 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 and their own thoughts that people put in their minds about what buying a house is, right? And all the negative things that come with buying a house. Can see little bill, can see, eh, can see uh, the water, eh, whatever. It's all these things, but it's just noise, right? And so my first challenge for you guys is that as you think about your goals for this year, for 2024, I want you guys to turn off the noise. Because what the people are saying around you has nothing to do with you and shouldn't, shouldn't move you left or right. Now, I'm not saying that everybody's opinion is bad, right? I'm saying that most opinions are not good. Right? And so you have people in your life that you love. You have your wife, right? You have your friends. You love them. Those opinions matter, right? So she says something, she's your friend, that matters, right? And so you have your four or five people around you who their opinion matters. These people love you, and the things that they're telling you is what we talked about earlier, is that accountability piece. It's the piece of somebody being outside of you telling you what they're seeing, right? And so that's okay. I, 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 even, I even tell my clients that they should talk to those people and tell them, hey, listen, like, what do I need to work on? Like, you know me. You sleep with me. We live together. Like, what is it that you see in me that, that I'm not doing that I need to work on? Like, let me know, right? Because those people are going to tell you, the people who are close to you. Gina sees, has been seeing me talk for the past few years. I can ask Gina, Gina, what am I doing different? What, what can I do better? You're behind the camera. You, you know. And so I take her opinion. That one matters, right? Um, but a, a lot of the other ones do not matter. And so what we need to do is we need to, to turn off that noise. There's way too much noise out there, and we're falling for all of it. Because somebody couldn't conquer it, I can't conquer it. Because, because, because that, that, that person's nutrition business went out of business. Mine is going to go out of business too. No, it's not. This is my business. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to sit there and be in denial, right? Like, if it's not good, it's not good, right? And that, that's when the accountability piece comes in. But we have to make sure that we turn the noise off. So my first challenge to you guys in this new year is to figure out who the four, five, six, seven people in your life are that matter, that their opinions matter. Figure who the people are out. Maybe write it down somewhere. You don't tell them. Like, don't, don't be like, oh, you don't matter. You don't matter. You matter. Like, don't do that. We, we, don't, we don't want no problem, right? We, you, we, you know, we, we, yeah, we, we still want our friends. We still want to go hang out. But, like, but, but, but for example, like, like if you're my wife, your opinion matters. If you and I go out to drink, your opinion might not. I mean, we hang out. We watch the game together. But your opinion might not matter in terms of my business, right? And so sit down and, 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 uh, and just write down. Five, six, seven people, whatever that number is, there, there's no magic number, but just have that number. Just know who matters, who, who doesn't matter, and turn the noise off because that noise is keeping you from these goals. It, it, it really is. Um, the second challenge is to, to really consider the information that, that, that I passed out, right? I passed out a few, a few papers. Um, some of them we've already covered. Some we haven't covered yet. Um, but when you leave here, um, really consider the things that are in these papers, right? Um, right now, it's, it's quick. I'm talking. You're reading. It, everything's coming at you quick, and you might not be able to consider everything in it. But please, later on, do, right? When I post this video on YouTube in a couple of days, go on there and just watch the video again and watch it with your paperwork there. And that way you can, okay, okay, that, okay that's what he was talking about. Okay, cool, whatever. And just really consider it, right? Some of it you might scratch off and say, yeah, I've done this already. That's not going to work. Or Eddie was full of it on this one. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm not going to the gym. Like, I'm not a 6 a.m. or like whatever. And that's fine. But just look at it and really consider it. Really give it an opportunity. Don't, don't, don't be quick to let it go because of what happened to you in the past. Really give it an opportunity. So consider everything that, that, that's on, this, on, on these sheets. Um, the third challenge that I have for you is to really step outside of the box with these goals that you have for 2024. And I think it says 2023 on there. It does. 
uh, but it's for 2024. Make sure that you have your, your, your um, those, these goals that you're setting, really step outside of the box with them. Like, really think outside of the box. Like, like really challenge yourself with some of these things. Like, that, that thing that, that, that seemed like it was scary to you, challenge yourself with that thing, right? Really make it a year that, 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 that you set goals that are a little bit crazy, but then later on, you're like, oh, it seemed like it was crazy, but it happened, right? And so step outside of, step outside of the box with these goals because that's how we're going to grow. If you're looking to grow, whatever, and whatever you do, you have to step outside of the box and really think bigger. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to grow because if, if you keep setting these goals that's, that, that, that seem cute and, 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 that, and that you know that you're going to get it, then it doesn't help you grow. Like they say, if it scares you, like do that. Do that. Like if it scares you, set that goal. But also make sure that these goals that you're setting don't have anything to do with money. Like if it has to do with money, it's garbage. That goal that you have, if that goal is for money, then it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't work. It needs to be something meaningful. Sure, that meaningful thing may bring you money, and let's do it. I want to speak more this year. That's going to bring me more money. But my thought is not I want to make $10,000 in 2024 speaking. No, my thought is I want to speak at about 25 events or whatever that number is, right? And then, you know, depending on the event, if it's the library, we're gonna, you know, we, we, might, we might cut, it might be a little less money. But if it's, you know, at Boca, we're gonna give them a little, you know, a little more. They got some more money on that that side of the, of the city, you know. But the idea is that when you set these, I, I saw you, I got you. Uh, um, well, the, the the thing is that when you set these goals, make sure that they that they're not all dependent on money. Like they're on, they're not all focused on I'm gonna get this much money, because the more you get of it, the more you're gonna you're gonna like it's never gonna be enough. Right? You're going you're gonna to keep wanting more, more money, more money. And, more, and money is a beautiful thing. We all need money. I'm not saying that it's not. But it needs, it needs to be something that's meaningful to you. Because when it's meaningful to you, then you will do it even, even for no money. You know? Again, I, I, Gina's here. I'm going to be talking about her the whole time. You can't see her in the camera, but she's, she's behind the camera. And she's come with me for events that have been free. And she's come with me for events that are not, that, that have been paid, right? And so it, 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 the money part of it, it shouldn't be the goal. The goal has to be, what can that particular goal do for you or for your business? Again, like I said in the beginning, selfish before selfless. Think about you first, then you can give. So make sure that that's these goals, whatever these goals that, you, that you're setting, make sure that they're not set on money because, again, it, it, we, we, it needs to be a, something that has more substance than, than just money. Um, and the last, uh, the last challenge that I have for you is to really work on you this year. And, and again, it, it's going to be a repetitive throughout this whole, um, this whole talk. You need to work on yourself. You are important. You are who matters. Regardless of what anybody says, you have to be selfish before you can be selfless. And, and, and it sounds like taboo. It sounds cringy or whatever, but we can't help others until we help ourselves. And so I really want you guys to really take the time to, help, to work on yourself. Work on understanding who you are. Right? Not what people think of you, but who you are. Work on whether that's getting a coach, whether that's doing assessments, whatever it is. Work on really understanding who you are because it's not until you know who you are that you can truly move forward positively with purpose. We, you, everybody in here has a purpose. I'm not sure if whatever you're doing for a living is your purpose. It might not be. I'm not sure. But everybody has a purpose. But you're not going to be able to discover that purpose until you work on yourself. And, and when I say discover, I'm saying discover because, we, because our purpose is all inside of us. We, we all have a purpose. We were all born with a purpose. We don't have to find nothing. Words matter. And when people say, I'm just trying to find, I'm trying to find my man, or I'm trying to find my, the love of my life, or I'm trying to find my, my I'm, I'm trying to find my career. You don't have to find it. It's not out there. It's not like I'm going to go out and just find it over there at the corner by the grocery store. It, 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 you don't have to find it. It's all inside of you. You have to discover it. And you discover it by understanding who you are, by really working on yourself, by really listening to yourself. Like that gut feeling is real. And, and too often, we look back at it. We look back at, at, at the gut feeling, right? We say, I knew I shouldn't have done that. I knew I shouldn't have dated that guy. I knew I shouldn't have, you know, went to that meeting. I knew, or I knew I should. Oh, it's always, I knew I should, or I knew I shouldn't have. That means that before that thing happened, you got the feeling like, hmm, it might not be good. But you're like, eh. It's gonna do it, like, you know, and then you go do it, and it doesn't work out, and you're like, oh, man, you know, and so that gut feeling, that's you yourself telling yourself what to do and what not to do, and we often like let it go and do our own thing, not realizing that we know ourselves better, and, like nobody knows ourselves better than ourselves. Your gut feeling, that gut feeling, nobody knows you better than that gut feeling, and so and so when it's telling you, yeah, we have to listen to it, 
And so we have to, we, we have to get in, into a place where we are listening to ourselves and we're understanding ourselves if we really want to discover what that purpose is because that's going to then lead you to trying different things and those different things are going to open up whatever that purpose is because, again, we all have a purpose. We were all born with a purpose. We just have to discover it. First, you discover your gift, whatever that gift is, and then that gift will then lead to your purpose. My gift got me kicked out of the bus. Talking too much, whatever, telling people how I feel, whatever, whatever, because I had a gift and I didn't know how to use it, right? Now, fast forward a few years, not so many years, um, I'm here and, 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 I, and, I, and now I discovered that that was the gift and the purpose is to help impact lives with it. And that's what we're doing here today, right? We're helping impact lives with the gift. And so to do that, you have to start working on yourself. And we're going to get into, in, in, in a minute, we're going to get into a, um, a, 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 a quick little presentation um, on, on how you can work on starting to understand yourself. Um, because I, I think that that's key to being a successful year. We have to start the process of really getting to know um, who we are. That is then going to help us understand who we are around. And that is really going to change our lives. Because we are raised with this idea of treat people the way you want to be treated. It sounds nice. Don't get me wrong. It sounds super cool. Treat people how you want to be treated. Well, you want that done to you? Don't do it to like, all that, you know, that's, and that, that, it sounds good. And there's nothing wrong with that. The problem is that everybody doesn't want to be treated the way that I'm treated, right? When I see you, like I'm a hugger. Hey, what's going on? You know, and, I, and, I, and I'll give you a hug and whatever. And that's cool for me, but it might not be for you. And I need to know that. Because if I go to you and I try to hug you, you're not a hugger. You're like, oh, creep. <laughs> creep, what's going on here? I'm out, you know? And, and, and then you're thinking, I'm like, you know, I'm, maybe I'm fresh or whatever. No, I'm not fresh. That's just the way that I am, right? And so we have to start to not only know who we are, but know the people that we're around because that's going to help us be more successful and really accomplish those goals. Not only in, 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 our, in our friendly life, but also like at work. If we work around people, we need to know who we're working around because everybody is different. Everybody's not going to want to go to happy hour. You might say, I'm, I'm good. I'm not, you know, and then you know what I'm going to do to you when you say you don't want to go to happy hour? Ah, come on, man. Don't, don't, don't be like that. Don't be such a, you know, uh, whatever, party pooper. And I'm talking crap to you, right, because you don't want to go. That's just not who you are. But if I understand who you are, then I'm like, hey, we're going to go to happy hour. He's not going to go. It's cool. You know, whatever. And just and do that. Or we do happy hour for these people, and then we do something else for you because you're, you, you might want to do something else, right? And so we have to start understanding who people are. And so rather than, rather than thinking treat people the way you want to be treated, we need to think treat people the way they deserve to be treated according to who they are. But be smart about it, right? We're, we're, we're not saying, oh, he's, he's a jerk. I'm going to treat him like a jerk. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that understand that, like, I don't move as quick as you might want me to move, babe. So when you told me to throw the garbage out, I'm going to throw it out, but it's not going to be right now. I got you. I got you. I'm going to throw it out, but not right now. So please don't come back at me 15 minutes later and say, I'll tell you to throw So my girl, she knows, like, I, I, I kind of do it on my own time. And I, I get it done. It's just it's, it's, it's when I'm ready. And it, it's not, I'm not doing it to be spiteful. That's just me. Like, I'm like, yeah, I got it. <laughs> sure, crap, I didn't do it. You know, and I, and I go do it, right? But once you understand who you're dealing with, then you don't get yourself all worked up thinking, oh, he's just, he, he just being, you know, he's being a brat. He's being, you know, whatever. No, no, that's just who he is. And so the last challenge is for you guys to please work on understanding who you are. Work, work, on, work on understanding yourself because that's going to then help you move forward. Um, with these goals that you have.